Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. You know, babe, I think we chose a really good day for hovercrafting. Perfect. It couldn't be, couldn't be nicer out. I love the lightning. It's a good effect. <laughs> yeah. And we have our uh, friends, Justin, J.H., and his girlfriend, and Alec and Spencer going with. So, big river day, guys. The uh, hovercraft's chilling over there, and we're about to hook up and go to the river, go on the maiden voyage. How do you think it's going to go? I think we're going to do fine. You ready to go hovercrafting, brother? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What could go wrong? The old Hover 24. Hey guys, I talked to a, a friend of mine who's in the fire department. I said, hey, am I gonna get in trouble for running fire and rescue out on the river? And he said, probably not. It shouldn't be an issue since you guys aren't like representing any counties or anything like that. So we're gonna go out, we'll keep our red beacon off, but uh, the white one just blinks all the time on its own. You know, last thing we wanna do is misrepresent ourselves as a fire and rescue, but you know, We'll try and put out a fire, I guess, if we see one. Or we might catch on fire, you know? You never really know with uh, with us. Okay, guys, so a couple things we actually learned, too, is the fire department hit us up and said, you're doing it wrong. This trailer actually tilts. So, look, you pull this pin out, you hook this chain up to this, and it'll actually crank the trailer and tilt it, which will make our lives a lot easier. It's nice to know the trailer tilts, huh, Spence? Yeah, it's very helpful. <laughs> it would definitely be more beneficial than the definitely. stunt we tried to pull the Yeah, I know. Time. We're lucky we didn't screw up the skirt or something. I know. So we're just filling up, guys, and we'll be on our way to the river here in a few. Brother, you got the honey hauler out here? Right, right. Ethanol free, huh? Maybe I should have gone with some of that. Well, uh, you know, figured out. I went with that for four years. <laughs> Before I ran on only brake clean. Now you are you think it's good? I think so. <laughs> Steering cable or tro throttle cable is looking really nice. I got cut That's a throttle cable? Earlier. Oh, no. Yeah, a little bit. I see you cleaned it. She's a ripper. Yeah, I rinsed it out. You know, it's. You think the honey hauler is going to make it further than the hover? I think so, dude. <laughs> the girl don't let me down. All right, well, hey, listen, one of us has to rescue the other if something happens. I'll bring straps. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we made it. We're on a nice level spot from the looks of it. Maybe a little bit downhill, but uh, should be good. Going to go ahead and unload, and hopefully this goes smoothly. Yeah. Oh. Hold on, let me make... Oh. Okay, dude, that's, that's actually... That's that's too much. I think we went too far. I don't know. That might be perfect. Yeah, might be good, yeah. Maybe we just move these uh, wooden things back a little bit, and then you're good. Wow, what a difference that makes. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be so much easier. That's gonna make life so much better. Okay. <laughs> All right. So one person on each side, and I'll fire it up. Gonna hit that battery. Guys are down. Rear engine engaged. <laughs> sketchy on land when you're in grass you have a little bit a little bit of grip here no no grip sketchy dude <laughs> that was sketchy i know look at the tire marks you left <laughs> <laughs> damn burning rubber what do you think jh i think this thing's a lot better than the scat <laughs> right we're gonna cook hot dogs out here later you definitely need for daytime. Oh yeah. I'm glad you turned those on or else yeah. we might not be able to see anything. And and we might not have a battery. Yeah. Pretty quiet though at idle. Out there. Alright Maddie, we're coming. <laughs> 
Moment of truth. Guys, real quick interruption. Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. You guys have seen me talk about Raycon before, and today I'm back talking about the same product, and that is the Everyday E25s. These are 100% wireless earbuds. They're super easy to use, very comfortable and stylish. These things are awesome for anyone who's on the go. They're great for someone like me who edits on the road. Having a wireless earbud that hooks to anything, my phone or computer, makes it so easy and simple to hop on the computer wherever I'm at and start doing some editing. Not to mention, the earbuds batteries last over six hours of playtime. And guys, you see this little charging case? This thing can charge the earbuds up to four times. And today, guys, if you visit buyraycon.com slash Cletus McFarlane, you can get 15% off your order. Celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Mike Tyson, J.R. Smith, all use Raycon. So check out my links in the description below or go straight to buyraycon.com slash Cletus McFarlane to get yourself a set of these for 15% off. But let's get back to the video. shaking this fence that was so dude, scary I, saw, I was gliding it up and you're going down with speed i was like dude he's gonna hit the other side of the road dude i had to remember you gotta throttle it's not like a jet ski if you don't throttle you just keep going exactly straight. i saw you let off the throttle and then you got on it i was like that's oh thank god, god. That was crazy. all right let's go rip that was spicy let's do it let's go on a little, yeah let's go on a little. all right i'm gonna push this off okay. oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right you sit
god, this thing is loud, dude. It we really not, is. We did not account for the loudness. <laughs> we did not bring earplugs. Folks, we didn't bring earplugs. We're yelling. You notice all the guys on the airboats with the headsets? What? I, uh, I now realize why that is a thing. We are out here Dang. on the river, folks. Made it to our first destination, no issues, and uh, I'm pretty, pretty stoked about it. Three people too, it didn't seem to care at all. Dude, I think great. we can do a fourth. Plus we got two coolers. Moving our body weight helped, but yeah, all I those can, turns. I can feel you moving around. Hey, you wanna know what's better than? The scat on those turns. Yes, I know. <laughs> Much more control. I felt you moving around and that really helped get the balance of yeah. where it needed to be. And I was like, oh yeah, perfect yeah, You job. can tell pretty quick when it needs a little bit of body weight adjustment, but. Yeah, wow, that? dude, what a rip. How'd it look? Oh, it looked great. <laughs> it, it belongs on this river. <laughs> Guys, I'm freaking pumped. How'd she look out there? Dude, it looked like just, it was walking on water. It really was. Huff, Riding. Dude, the honey hauler is running great. Yeah, I'm very impressed. I mean, we got it up to about 82 mile an hour, one rip we did. And so I'm really impressed with yeah, that. Yeah, I saw you come by, only the prop was in the water. That's how that boat rides. <laughs> All right, guys, we're off to our next destination. We got a little bit of a storm rolling through. Luckily, we got a windshield wiper. <laughs> oh, he's got the old. Fake news. <laughs> All right. Oh. What happened, Justin? <laughs> Overall, like, what's your overview of the machine? Because this is the maiden voyage, aside from just pond driving. We've probably gone a couple miles up the river. Oh. You know, I'd say she's doing pretty good. That's good. Considering, considering the fact that we've done zero to it. I gotta say, because it is raining out here, this canopy is so nice. I know, it is so nice. Combo, yeah. Great. yeah. So I think hearing protection and this will be a lot more pleasurable too, because it's like, yeah. I know I hate when my ears are blown out. Yeah, and then you're yelling the rest of the day, and your head will hurt after an hour or two of that. Rev her up, brother! Yeah. To the moon! <laughs> What do you think, brother? <laughs> dude, that thing is wild to drive, but it's so fun. You get the hang it's of it so quick. It's so sketchy, dude. I dude, love it. Dude, it is. <laughs> dude, that thing's so sick. It's so sick. <laughs> it's How hilarious. I love it, dude. Dude, I could run See my supercharger belt? See a supercharger <laughs> belt, bro? Oh, yeah. Come on. All right, well, we made it to the second spot. So far, so good. Our ears are cooked, but we're making it. <laughs> All right, guys, we've been hanging out for a while. The old Hover 24 is straight up chilling. How's the honey hauler doing now? You know, a little performance so, issue earlier. We had a little uh, issue with it flooding earlier. Yeah. We got the flooding worked out. Too, the Evan too rude. It's Evan too rude. It's <laughs> They're all performing really well, you know. We're out here. I'm happy with it. This boat's been sitting for a long time. It's a collector's item. It's been yep. sitting for a little bit. I feel bad for guys who bought these nice airboats and we're just out here blowing them out of the water. I jumped a couple sandbars, jumped a couple stumps. I saw that. So, I thought this was a hovercraft for a minute when I saw you over that sandbar. We got a lot of air. <laughs> Right here. Jack, 
with you guys. Look, I went off here and it was sketch. Of course, no one filmed it, but we got Zach who's gonna show us the airboat style. Let's see it, brother! Ah! He's a full sender. He's got his he's got his jaw boat out here. It's a tracker 15. She's ripping today. And here we got this hovercraft's about to do a 360 degree. It's doing 120 mile an hour. Let's see what happens. You can't even see it. It's so fast. It's so fast. It's blitzing across the water. It'll do a 360. Alex and Naysayer. too sharp of a ledge and I tore the skirt. No! Oh! I broke it. Looks like I could actually just take this rub rail off, raise it up, and re-screw it in though. Well boys, I now have just a craft. It no yeah, longer hovers. You have a craft. What is, is, um, you blew the skirt. I blew the skirt. Alright, so, right it's, no, it's just a craft. It's no it's longer. Just a, it's just a craft. There. It doesn't hover. No hover, just no craft. Hover, just craft. What you doing? We're gonna fix it. We yeah. got a screwdriver. We're gonna. It looks like someone's already done it before. Actually, you just tuck the skirt back into the. Uh, basically, like there's a little plate holding the top of the skirt. Right. We'll try and fix that and see if we can get it back easier like that. We uh, basically took the ripped part and just raised it up into this plate. <laughs> It is working. 100% works. Hey, listen, part of hovercrafting is messing up your skirt. We, yeah, sometimes you just gotta hike your skirt up. We, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get back to the boat ramp before it gets dark. You can add hovercraft mechanic to your repertoire. I'm putting it on there. I'm putting it on there. <laughs> We have some, but what we got going on here? I well, we ran her out of gas. On? Yeah, yeah. Let's make this ramp, dude. We're All not right. gonna let it defeat us.
like a real hovercraft. Oh my we goodness. The skirt, we fixed the skirt. We ripped all day. Woo! Listen, this is what you come here, folks. Thanks for watching. They'll freaking see you later.